Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji wa KBC Channel 1. Na asante kuendelea kutazama kipindi chako cha mkulima. Kipindi kinachokujuza mbinu tofauti za kilimo na teknolojia zinazoimarisha afya. Kilimo cha greenhouse kina manufaa tele si umu tu nchini bali dunia nzima. Kwani kilimo hiki akina msimu ni rahisi kudhibiti magonjwa na wadudu ndani ya greenhouse na pia mavuno yake ni tele. Haya sio maneno yangu mbali ni ya daktari Kima mkurugenzi katika kitengo hiki cha Kopia. Basi karibu hujione kilimo cha cucumber na strawberry ndani ya greenhouse hapa Kopia. Kilimo cha strawberry kwenye hii greenhouse ni kwa ajili ya kuwafunza wakulima jinsi ya kukuza strawberries kwenye greenhouse. Mwanzo greenhouse ukitumia unapanda mimea zako off season wakati wengine hawafanyi. Na sana sana strawberries zinapenda mahali kuna cool temperatures ambapo hakuna baridi ya kutishia na hakuna jua kali pia. Ndio unaona greenhouse inakuza strawberries. Na hizi mekuzo under hydroponics. Kumanisha, lishe, zinapewa lishe pitia kwenye tank ambao ina pump hiyo lishe hapa. Then hii hapa hydroponics ikona drip irrigation ambayo kutoa maji na hizo nutrients. Unapokuza mimea kwa greenhouse haswa katika mbinu hii ya hydroponic, mavuno yatakuwa mengi kwani hapa ndani ni rahisi kudhibiti magonjwa na wadudu ikilinganishwa na kukuza strawberries kule nje ambako hata ndege huwa kero. Lakini hydroponic ni kilimo gani? Hydroponic inamaanisha utumi mchanga. Pale nje unatumia mchanga. Lakini ukiwa unatumia hydroponics hautumii mchanga. Kwa mfano hapa ndani umeona kuna coco pit hiyo ni ya hold ya kushikilia tu mizizi ya hiyo hydroponics lakini nutrients zote ambazo zinahitajika kuanzia kwa ikiwa ndogo mpaka wakati inakuwa imeanza kutoa maua imeweka mbegu imeweka fruit ni nutrients zinapewa tofauti tofauti kule kwa mchanga unategemea madini kutoka kwa mchanga hata ukiongeza unaongeza kidogo sana lakini hapa uko sahihi kama ni nitrogen inatakana unaipatia wakati ambao inatakana ile in, iko enough Strawberries kama matunda mengine yanayokuzwa kalro hukuzwa bila kutumia kemikali za kudhuru afya ya binadamu. Basi wao hutumia njia badala kukabiliana na wadudu na magonjwa. E, mavuno ni mengi kwenye greenhouse kwa hydroponics. Hapa ndani umezuia e, changamoto za mchanga hazipo. Yale magonjwa ambayo yangekuwa akiattack strawberry hapa hakuna kwa sababu umetumia hiyo media. Kule nje mavuno sio mengi kwa sababu pia kuna changamoto kuna ndege ambazo zinakula fruits kuna vitu kama wadudu kama snails ambazo wanapenda fruits sana hapa ndani hawapo so kumaanisha mavuno ya hapa ikiwa kule nje mimea moja itakupatia kilo moja strawberry fruits hapa ndani utapata mimea ishirini ukivuna itakupatia kilo moja ndani ya greenhouse labda kuwe na ugonjwa kama leaf spot ambazo ndio hizi hapa hizo lason huwa zimechomeka kitu kingine changamoto ni wadudu e, wadudu kama red spider mite wakiingia na usio me control utapata zimejaa na zitakuwa zimerudisha mavuno chini white flies pia ni muhimu ni wadudu ambao wako na changamoto kubwa sana ku control so hizo ndio baadhi ya changamoto ambazo tunaona kwa strawberries changamoto tuko na njia mbadala instead ya kutumia dawa kwa mfano kama ni hiyo red spider mite unaweza tumia wadudu ambao wengine ambao tumewafuga kukula au red spider mite wadudu kama phytocillus na sana sana hata sasa hizi wako kwa maduka wanauzwa ukienda kwa kampuni kama zile za Rili IPM ukienda kwa Cupet wako na hizo phytocillus wanauzia wakulima eh, white flies unatumia stickers za yellow kwa control kwa sababu zinakuwa attracted na na kala ya yellow so unaweka yellow stickers ndani ya greenhouse yako zile ambazo zote zitakuwa zimeona hiyo kala zote zitakuja hapo hivyo wadudu kama thrips thrips unatumia stickers za blue ambazo pia zina attract thrips na ziko they are sticky ziko na glue ambazo huwa zinafanya zinashika adults zile ambazo zinataga mayai Mbali na madini muhimu na utamu usio na kifani tunaopata kutoka kwa matunda matunda pia hutupa ajira na pesa za kujikimu 
zote ziko na madini muhimu ambao mwili unataka. Kwa mfano strawberries unaweza ukikula utapata malnutrition kama zile nutrients kama kama vitamins imejaa ndani hapa. Iko na mi, mi, madini mengine pia ni muhimu ambayo ni muhimu kwa mwili na pia majani yake hutengeneza kuna wale ambao wanatengeneza nayo majani chai wala ambao hawatumii majani ya kawaida wanaweza tumia matawi ya strawberry kama kiungo cha kupikia chai na pia kuna wala ambao wanatengeneza mafuta kutokana na maua yake so unasikia maua yake iko na harufu hiyo harufu inakuwa ni kama freshener kwenye nyumba kwenye chikoni kwenye magari so ni iko na muhimu tofauti tofauti kuanzia kwa chakula kwenda kwa madawa na pia kwa vitu kama hizo freshers hapo awali kulikuwa na uhaba wa soko la strawberries lakini hivi sasa soko liko la strawberries na bei pia ni nzuri iwe unauza tunda lenyewe ama kuongeza dhamana soko la strawberries ni nzuri eh, hapo mwanzo kulikuwa na changamoto lakini saa hizi kuna soko nzuri for fresh unayapata bei ni mzuri kwa wale pia wanaongeza dhamana kuna wale ambao wanatengeneza yogurt strawberry yogurt wale ambao wanatumia organic natural uh, strawberry fruits wanatengeneza nayo uh, yogurt uh, kuna wale ambao wanatengeneza juice yake kuna wale pia wanatengeneza keki kutumia strawberry fruits wengine wanatengeneza jam na hizo vitu zote ziliko na demand kwa soko kwa sababu kuna population ya watu demand ya strawberry ni kuu kuliko supply ndio inafanya soko inakuwa mzuri. Si strawberry stuzi kuswazo katika greenhouse lakini pia cucumbers. Ukuzaji wa cucumber pia iko na manufaa kwa kulima kwa sababu iko na pesa nzuri. Ukipanda cucumber kama mbegu yako ulikuwa umeinua ile iko certified utapata ya kwamba e, mazao yake yatakuwa mengi ikiwa uko na mbegu nzuri umetengeneza shamba lako vizuri au mahali pa kuipatia mazingira mazuri mahali pa kuikuzia utapata mavuno mengi mazuri na bei yake kwa soko pia ni mzuri kuna uzuri mwingine wa kupanda cucumbers ndani ya greenhouse ikilinganishwa na ukuzi wa cucumbers shambani cucumber ukipanda kwenye greenhouse unachuna muda mrefu ukipanda nje itaisha haraka lakini kwa greenhouse itachukua muda mrefu <coughs> ukisustain eh, soko lako kama ingechukua mwezi moja nje kwa greenhouse achukua miezi tatu kumaanisha ni muda mrefu ukiwa unachuna mbali na kuwa na madini muhimu cucumber pia ni mboga inaweza kutumiwa kutengeza salads ama kuongeza dhamana kwenye chakula mbona basi usivulie nguo ukuzi wa cucumber haswa kwa greenhouse lakini hii kopi ambayo leo yote tumeikazia fikra ni nini that copia is a Korea and program on international agriculture so that uh, copia Kenya center launched uh, 10 years ago and we have uh, some uh, international cooperative research uh, project between Korea and Kalo lengo lao kubwa ni kufunza wakulima na watafiti mbinu kadhaa wa kadhaa haswa zile wanazozitekeleza kwao na kuziona na manufaa na mazao mazuri. We want to share some techniques for agriculture because uh, around the 1970 and 80 we achieved some uh, self sufficiency of food crops in Korea. So we want to share that experience between Korea and uh, Kopia Kenya. Uh, we work together with uh, some project and mainly here we have that chicken project and major project and the potato project many project we have here and when we last day when we finished that model village in Biuni and Biuni village in Wanjoi uh, and Wanjoi village in Machakos at that time that the farmers income was increased hivi ndivyo walivyoanza kuwashika wakulima mkono na wakulima wamejionea matokeo ya kujaribu mbinu hizi za Korea za ufugaji kuku na kilimo From uh, 2016 to 2018 we chose the two model village in 
Machakos County and Nyandaura County counties too, and Campbell County too. So before and after to compare their farmers' income, for example, that uh, chicken village, their income has increased more than 10 times. And the potato groups of farmer, their income increased more than three times increased. So we wanted to disseminate or spread the techniques for other uh, farmers too. Lakini la kushangaza ambalo hatuja zoea kuona ni kuku kufugwa ndani ya greenhouse. Hii ni moja wapo ya mbinu ambazo wao hutumia huko Korea. Mbali na kuwafuga ndani ya nyumba, wao huwafuga ndani ya greenhouse na kuhakikisha jogo moja amewekwa pamoja kukukume wa kike. Rearing in greenhouse or in the house is more easy to managing because some uh, outside uh, sometimes some wild animals to attack was some inspect of some uh, disease from our neighbors. So uh, we, when we cared in, inside of a house or a greenhouse, I think it's more easy to care. Kwa kulitazama shamba lao la mafunzo, utabayana kwamba mbinu wanayotumia mbali na kufa mchanga wetu, hali ya anga pia imesaidia pakubwa. Iwapo unadhani mazao yetu ni mengi sana ikilinganishwa na mazao huko Korea sivyo hata Basically it is similar or same but that climate is a big different in Korea and Kenya because in Korea we have four, four seasons so nowadays already we have some snows so we can't cultivate outside but uh, we want to get some fresh vegetables so we built that greenhouse in Korea and when that farmer they produced in winter time their income is four or five times higher than in summer times. So it means that shortage of supply. Because of shortage of supply, when that farmer uh, cultivate inside of the greenhouse, their income is more high. Kutokana na juhudi zao na mazuri wanayofanya hapa Kalro Muguga, tulitaka kujua kama kuna uwezekano wa wao kufungua vituo vingi kama hiki katika kila jimbo. In African <coughs> continent, we have seven copia center, but uh, uh, only one office. So, as I mentioned, the Meru County International uh, Cooperative Work, at that time, we visit that place and to make a chance for educate, 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 education or to discuss and meet together. And if they want, last, uh, last month, around 20 farmers from Meru County, they visit our office and our field to educate. So like that, uh, just only one copy center in one country. We don't have a plan to make another region. Nipendeleo lililoje kwetu na ndio maana tunanuia kufaidika vilivyo na teknolojia walizonazo na kuboresha kilimo biashara chetu maradufu. Mwito wake kwa wakulima ni huu. My recommendation for farmer uh, in here Kenya we have two seasons of rainy season but uh, as you know uh, last May or June we have only uh, a little uh, rain. But uh, this short uh, rainy season, we have more rain here. So uh, sometimes some uh, semi-arid area, difficult to cultivate some crops. So uh, when they uh, care of some uh, chicks, I think it's better for uh, that farmer's life to increase their income. As, as I explained, uh, that uh, Machakos County, uh, one village in Buni, uh, their farmers income. When they, we shared that uh, technique and other, others, three years model village project after then, uh, that farmers income increased more than 10 times. Really, uh, it's an incredible result we got. So we hope that the result to spread more neighbors or more country, counties. Umejionea ukweli wa maneno yake Daktari Kima. Licha ya kwamba mazao ni mengi, matunda ni makubwa makubwa na yenye afya. 
Unaweza ukauza tunda ile likiwa lenyewe ama ukaongeza dhamana basi chaguo ni lako. Soko ni kubwa na la kumfaa mkulima. Wacha sasa tupate vidokezo kabla ya kutamatisha kipindi chetu. Strawberry un mbali na kulila likiwa tunda zima unaweza kuongeza dhamana ukajipatia juisi yako na pia kutia ladha ndani kwa kiki yako. Kiukamba nayo unaweza ukatumia kudhibiti uzito wa mwili kuongeza maji mwilini na pia kutengeza salad. Ni hayo tulokuandalia hii leo lakini usikose kujiunga nasi tena Juma lijalo tuendelee kuchanganua mengi katika nyanja hii ya kilimo. Lakini hapo una swala lolote ama pengine ungependa tutembelee shamba lako. Unaweza ukatujulisha kwenye nambari zilizopo kwenye runinga yako. Basi mie sina budi kulikunja jamvi letu hapa leo. Hadi Jumalijalo nimekuwa wako Frederick Mbatha. Kwaeri.